Yo, what up guys? It's your dude Jidel, and I've, I've had a pretty rough week. That's why I haven't uploaded in a while. It's Actually, it's been over a week now since I've uploaded. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I've had a crazy busy week. All of my professors gave me tests or essays, or even both in one case, an essay and a test. I'm gonna try to make a few videos today, no guarantees though. So a lot of you guys have been asking for story times, and I know I said I would throw that on the second channel, but I figured that not enough of you are on there yet for me to start throwing stories on the second channel, so we'll just get into this. This is a story I actually thought I posted, but it turns out I never posted it. It's a story about my freshman roommate. I had a freshman roommate horror story. This guy was the worst. It's August, and you know, it's like, you find out who your roommate is, and I find out it's this guy named Brett, but I knew it'd be kind of, now I hope I don't offend anybody in the comments, I knew this was going to be kind of weird from the start, because I've never seen Brett spelled with one T before, I've only seen Brett spelled with two T's, but his name had one T in it, that's not normal, I'll say, just because I've seen so many two T Bretts, but never a one T Brett, that's just, I've never seen a one T Brett, have you seen a one T Brett? I don't think so! So, I sent him an email, and he just doesn't respond to it, like, it's been like a month, he doesn't respond. So I look him up on Facebook, and I find like a Facebook profile, and it's like the worst profile picture I've ever seen. It's like grainy, it's ugly, it's like the hair is all bad. I was like, why would anybody do that as a profile? You know what? This isn't my roommate. Like, this guy's probably like, you know, I'm gonna give this guy the benefit of doubt. Soon this isn't him. The next day, that Facebook account messages me, yo, I'm gonna be your roommate. And I was like, oh man, okay. So did you get my email? No. I was like, yo, I'm from, like California. Do you want me to bring a TV? Are you gonna bring a TV? Like, what are you, what's the game plan here? And he's like, I don't know. I could do that. And I was like, cool, sure. So he never actually ended up bringing the TV, but conversation still goes on. I was like, oh, so, all right, so like, what are your hobbies? And he's like, I like loitering in front of 7-Elevens. I was like, ah, uh, I was like, I didn't say anything because I was waiting for him to say like, lol JK or something like that. He did not. He was just like, yeah, no, that's what I do. I loiter in front of 7-Elevens. Basically, for those of you who don't know what that means, that just means he sits in front of 7-Elevens and just hangs out and talks with people and stuff. So he told me that was his hobby. So then I asked him, like, all right, man, like, what kind of music are you into? And he's like, oh, I like punk rock. And I was like, cool, I can dig punk rock. Like, I like Sum 41. And he just responds, Sum 41 sucks. He's like, all right, he's not the friendliest person. This might not work out. He's like, what do you like? I was like, hip hop. He doesn't respond, like, for 20 minutes. So I, like, I just leave my computer, come back onto Facebook, and he sends me a two-paragraph rant about how much he hates Kanye West and Yeezus. Instead of saying, like, I'm not a hip-hop fan, he just sends me this rant. For those of you who probably know, I'm a huge Kanye West fan. So I don't respond, I'm just like, oh, oh, okay. Like, I'm not trying to start beef with a roommate. I've had four roommates in college, including him. I've, it's always been my goal. Never beef with a roommate. It just If you have a bad relationship with your roommate, it's just not gonna, you're just not gonna have a good time, you know? After that rant, I just don't message him. Like, you know what? I don't, I don't, like, I don't like talking to this guy. I don't wanna talk to this guy. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my summer break before college so I don't have to talk to him anymore because he's just not a pleasant person. I get to call it. I get there and I see him. He is like four feet tall. Not, not that there's wrong with anything me short. He's got like hair that's like two feet long. It's like half his height. And it's like these long greasy. You could feel the grease coming out of this long disgusting hair. Oh, it was so gross. This hair was so greasy. This guy, man, everything. It just looked like he didn't try to make himself look good. You know, like a lot of days, you know, I don't, I put on sweatpants and a hoodie. But, you know, I'll, I'll put my hair back. I'll do something to make me look a little bit... This guy just did nothing to make himself look appealable. So, we're talking, and I can immediately tell I don't like him. He's just doing the weird stuff. He's acting like he did on the Facebook chat. So, we're walking around trying to get to know each other. And I am starving. Like, I am so hung... Like... Probably the most hungry I've been, like, ever. And we get to the dining hall, and Brett's like, Oh man, I'm so hungry, you wanna go eat? And I was like, you know what, Brett, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I do not wanna eat with him, I don't know, I'm so hungry. Instead of, you know, getting a free meal, meal swipe, I would've rather just eaten somewhere else, eaten by myself, I did not wanna eat with Brett. I walked to the student center, and all I get is a coffee, because all they have open was Dunkin' Donuts. And I don't know about you guys, but Dunkin' Donuts donuts are pretty, pretty bad, honestly. And then I'm, I'm walking, we have like our freshman introduction, and I see uh, this girl who was in my orientation group and she introduced me to this guy named Michael who's my roommate two years ago in the second half of freshman year, second half because I changed rooms, I'm gonna tell you all the horror stories that happened in between this and then. So then I, like, I see Brett later, you know, we go to bed. I don't really talk to him that much. But then like, Brett starts doing some weird stuff. So like one of my friends says they saw him 
poke somebody in the face with a pool stick, which is very uncool because I didn't want them to take the pool sticks away because when I was a freshman, one of the big things in my like dorm area was a lot of people love pool. So I used to play pool with a lot of people and I was like, man, if they take away our pool sticks because of Brett, of all people, that would suck. Thank God they didn't, but like that's just a, a scummy thing to do. Poke somebody in the face with a pool stick. Why would you do that? Like you, if you're mad at somebody, you don't hit them with a pool stick. It's just, you just don't do that. So one time he had like this big plate of Nutella. He just put like a bunch of Nutella. He just literally just took Nutella, scooped it onto a plate, and then like had like a few pretzel sticks that he dipped into it and ate it. Fine, you know, not the most conventional way to eat it, but not a big deal. He just left the Nutella plate there for like two weeks, and it just dried up, and it was so gross. So eventually I was like, dude, you got to clean that Nutella up. Thankfully, he didn't try to argue with me. He just cleaned it up. But like, like, why would you want to live with that next to you? It takes two seconds to fix. You could easily change that. Worst, if you don't want to wash it, you could just throw the plate away. It was a plastic plate. Not a big deal. You could get more plastic plates. So I remember another time was he claimed to have tested out of the er, preliminary writing class. Like all the freshmen at my college have to take this like annoying writing class. He claims he tested out of it, but he was also taking like the lowest level of math and he was some sort of science major. So you can't like how could you be the lowest level of math and be a science major? It didn't make any sense like his classes I didn't get it So at a lot of colleges to get into parties that you don't know you need to have something called ratio Or it's just you have a you have more girls than guys certain You know a certain number of the ratio between the two and so Brett would always go out Like by himself or with his one weird friend and I was like Brett you're like you're not gonna get into any parties bro And he's like doesn't hurt to try, man. Okay, that's that's a fair mindset. But not once did he actually get into a party. He tried like 10 times that first semester. Just going around, looking for parties. Could never get in. It, it was so dumb. Like, I was like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're just wasting your time. Uh, so I remember after Thanksgiving break, I come back. And he didn't, act, he legit did not say a word to me. He didn't say a single word to me the whole week. Like, I would be like, what's up, Brett? And he would just give me, like, head nods and stuff. He never actually spoke to me. Obviously, I hated Brett. I requested a room change. I didn't get it. My RA was like, can you work it out? And I was like, I don't know, man. And then, like, I didn't want to have to deal with actually trying to work things out with Brett. So, that next semester, my friend Michael's roommate, he had to leave college for some reason. So, instead of, like, filing a room change, I just moved my stuff into Michael's room. Like, and the thing was that was hilarious about it was Brett was in class. And while Brett was in class, Michael and I moved all of my stuff. So when Brett came back to the room, none of my stuff was there. The only thing I left was a broken Xbox 360 controller, because I was like, I don't need this broken controller anymore. So Brett literally comes back to an empty room. None of my stuff's there. I just leave. I vanish. He doesn't even text me. He doesn't do anything. I didn't even, like, I never even saw him after that. I've seen him, like, twice this year. Both times, I just looked down at my phone. I don't want to deal with that. So then I, like, messaged the school. I was like, yo, I want to request a move to this room. They're like, all right, we'll try to figure it out. I was like, y the thing is, I already moved my stuff, so you kind of have to move me in there. So they did move me in there officially. I got my room key and stuff. It's actually funny that night uh, My school's bus system broke down So we had like six people sleeping in the room and my friend Michael is so mad because he's always had to share a ro his a room his whole life He's like this is gonna be the one night you know, I get a room to myself, and then I move in, and all these people have to stay over. But, I mean, that's that's what's awesome about college. It's like, all these people are staying over, but, like, you know, we're playing, like, board games and stuff, and just hanging out, having fun. It's just such a, it's so, such a college moment, I would say. But, uh, yeah, that's my freshman roommate. He actually did text me at the very end of the year. Do you want your controller? I just found it. The thing was, I left it on my desk. There's no way he couldn't have, like not seen it the whole year. But yeah, that's my freshman roommate horror story. I found out somebody, or this person I met named Arielle, had a similar story to mine. When she moved all her stuff, it was while the roommate was sleeping. So when the roommate went to sleep, all of this girl's stuff was there, and when she woke up, <laughs> all the roommate stuff was gone. So her story was pretty similar to mine. I thought that was pretty funny. It's kind of crazy how a roommate can change everything. I've had, I've, I've definitely had worse, I've heard worse stories from roommates, because at least with me and Brett, like, he weirded me out, but me and Brett never, like, fought or argued, because I knew things that we would end up arguing about, I just didn't, I just avoided talking about, because I don't want to deal with that, I want to enjoy my time, I don't want to deal with Brett being angry. Thank you for watching this story time, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, no guarantees, but I really am hoping I can finally start getting videos out more consistently, now that these midterms are done. I'm actually gonna be in California for, like, four days, so maybe I'll make a video with Jesse again, who knows, I've actually never been to his new house, he moved in right when I left, so we'll see. Alright guys, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and peace!